today talking to Jim Baltima, who is the incoming president of the Ulysses S. Grant Association. Jim, I'm wondering if you can tell me a little bit how, about how you got started in the U.S. Grant Association. Actually, what, what made you interested in Ulysses S. Grant to begin with? Well, that and history in general. When I was in high school, I wasn't a model student by any means. Um, in fact, I was probably lucky to graduate. But what happened is I married a woman that loves antiques and antiquity and old books. And so one day when we were about, what, 26 or 27, we went to Santa Barbara and she took me into a bookstore. And that's about the last place I wanted to be. I had no interest in history, none whatsoever. But you got to do something, so I'm browsing the aisles and I see this old beat up book. I said, what is that? And so I pick it up, I mean it's in pieces. And it's, it's a book about Ulysses S. Grant dated 1889, 1869 by Richardson. And there's this steel engraving on the front and I go, I can't believe a book from 1869 could still exist, having no idea that that's not even that old. So I bought it for a dollar, took it home and read it, and from that point on, that changed my life. I mean, reading about Grant took me into history, which took me into school. I wasn't going to college at the time. I went to college. I got a degree in history. I worked on my master's degree in history, all because of that book uh, on Grant by Richardson. So it changed my life. Wow, so Ulysses S. Grant was certainly a big influence in your life. Well, how did you find out about the Ulysses S. Grant Association and how did you become involved? Well, what you get, would do today is you just type it in, but back then it was in the 70s. And so I did my research and found a guy named John Y. Simon, who was the executive director of the Ulysses S. Grant Association. And immediately I started corresponding. Once again, there's no computer, so you write letters and you mail them and you pick up the phone now and then. And I just really, John Wayne Simon is just, was one of the most intelligent men I've ever met. He always took time out of his day for you and I'd call with silly questions while I was researching Grant. And I remember even one time I had the stationery that I made up and I was picking the right photo to put on the stationery of Grant. So when I wrote institutions uh, looking for photographs, they'd have an idea uh, what I was about. So he, he, he would take time for that. My wife and I, then we'd start traveling. and We'd always stop by Carbondale and visit the Simons. So that was a big deal. And once you know John, then of course you're in the organization. And then I joined in the late 70s, the Ulysses S. Grant Association, which has been around since 1962. And from there, we just uh, became best of friends, and I've been doing it ever since. We became on the board of directors in the late 1980s, wow. and I've loved every second of it, all because of that <laughs> book by Richardson. Wow, that's amazing. So you've been on the board of directors. Have you played any other roles in the organization since you've joined? Yes, I was treasurer for many years that Harriet Simon, John Wise's wife, who's still holds that position, so I did treasurer, but mostly uh, in the last many years as vice president. Wow, okay, well, you're following uh, Chief Justice Frank Williams into the role of presidency. Uh, how do you plan to build on his legacy? Well, I always make the analogy of it's like you're replacing the best football coach that ever played the game and your team went undefeated and Okay, coach, you're next. He retired. What are you going to do? Well, I have a lot of energy. I have a lot of passion. And I'm going to put all that to work and retired, I should say. So I have the time and I'm really anxious to put some ideas that I have to uh, take the organization to the next level. Frank is, I mean, you'll never duplicate that, but we got to keep going. And so I'm going to do the best I can with that. Well, okay, so you mentioned next level. What does that mean to you? Where do you hope to take this organization? Well, I think the biggest thing is, uh, once again, I, I think it's like family. You always want to be near your family. Always know you sit around the dinner table and you communicate and talk. Well, I have that same idea about the Grant Association. I want to have communication. I want word to get out the, to the members and to the board exactly what's going on and really make them feel that they're a part of something big with the Grant Association. Uh, we had a meeting earlier today, if I might just add, 
uh, we had some younger people there that know about social media and podcast and they brought up some really good points that I haven't thought of about membership and so uh, hopefully you and I will get together as the executive director and the president and come up with some of these ideas to really get the word out there. I mean there's so many opportunities for us that I'm really looking forward to that challenge. Well, me too. Um, can you tell me a little bit about your your views on the relationship between the U Ulysses S. Grant Association and the Ulysses S. Grant Presidential Library here at Mississippi State and how they work together? You said the other grant organizations? Well, and also just, just the, the Ulysses S. Grant Association and, and mm. our library, but yes, yes, let's talk about the other organizations too. All right, that's what I was thinking. Let me just mention about the other organizations. I think Grant, uh, the Ulysses S. Grant Association should have a leadership position, but not elitist, mm -hmm. but just be there for all these other organizations. I know we were just at one of those organizations and, and they thought we really didn't help them, that we weren't there for them. These were words that they said to me. And that's not what you want to hear. I want to make sure that we we're there for them, that we first, we join their organization to make sure that we're paying members yes. and expect the same from them. And then we have a newsletter. I want to put in articles about each one of these sites everywhere from Grant's birthplace to Galena to, I mean, Grant was all over the place. So that's one of my goals. But working here at Mississippi State, I was at Southern Illinois University when we were there for years and years. Well, that didn't work out and we had to find a new home. And of course, uh, Frank Williams, Chief Justice Williams, was the one behind that. And what a fabulous job he did finding us a home here. We were, he was looking other places and other people were interested. The New York Historical Society is one. But when he came here and met Francis Coleman and, and the president of the college, Mr. Keenum, Dr. Keenum, they just hit it off. And the university was so excited to get the grant association here that it's just been such a positive experience being here. I, all due respect to SIU, but this has really been a great home for us. Well, I think that's a wonderful note to leave on. Um, I know Mississippi State is delighted to have this partnership with the Ulysses S. Grant Association, and uh, I look forward to working with you well, in the future, Jim. All Thank right. Thank you. Thank you.